हाय स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न द बर्ड्स पैसनेटिंग ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट इज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बर्ड्स नेम वी लर्न एंड इवन आल्सो देयर पेदर्स यू आल्सो वी आर लर्न ओके सो एंड वन मोर वी लर्न इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास दैट इज वॉट बीक्स okay i hope you are understood our previous class so this class we shall discussing about peat and claws peat and claws means birds peat and claws okay birds are found in all parts of the world as per you know already okay even maybe we are found see to the forest from open plain to the mountain in the different places of on the earth we can find out that birds okay and now birds feet do not get affected by the heat or the cold that's one keep in your mind students birds feet are there that is do not affected by the heat or cold whatever how much it is there heat or cold it do not affected by the get affected by the heat or cold which one birds feet okay so birds feet are very important and just as the what you learned in the beaks are adapted to the food habits of the birds food habits of the birds their feet and claws are also shaped suit their different ways of life so is it same all the birds feet and claws no it's not same all birds feet and claws are their different and their shaped to suit their different ways of life students keep in your mind it is a very important okay the same like so we have to study you now there are different types of feet and claws of birds okay the first one perching birds perching birds means uh, for example sparrow and other perching birds have long slender look that this is perching feet and claws of the birds example sparrow just you look the sparrow claws that this like is there this is called perching and this perching slender the claws with three toys in front three toys is in front and one it has a back they use these toys to hold firmly on branch or wire they use these toys to hold firmly on branch or wire that's why they have four toys three is in front one is a back so this type of claws have there they are perching birds for example sparrow next one birds of prey prey means uh, i think you already know hunt okay birds of prey example kites seagulls and havocs have a strong and sharp claws to hold the prey will flying and also to tear the flesh tear the flesh on the animal look that this is birds of prey phrase there some peat and claws are phrase there example kites eagles why they are having this one because they have hold their prey will flying and also tear the flesh that's why they want this type and next swimming birds swimming birds ducks and penguins have webbed peat where skin joins the toys this make the peat like a paddles ducks and penguins have a swimming birds swimming birds almost all the swimming birds have peat and legs are look like skin join the toys they make the peat like a paddles bicycle paddles okay next wading birds crane and stroke have a long thin leg this like long thin legs and wide spreading toys wide spreading these toys help the birds to walk in shallow waters okay this is help this type of wading birds have to walk on the in the shallow waters okay that's the reason they want this like they have this like next one scratching birds hens have strong feet with three toys in front and one at the back each toy has a sharp claw with which it scratch the ground in the search of food in the soil have you seen the birds uh, sorry hand legs have their four toys four is in front one is the back 
but they have very short claws with which it is scratch the ground in search of food that's when they have this like of claws okay and is the example of scratching birds okay i hope you are understood this one uh, different type of pita and claws of birds perching birds birds of prey swimming birds wedding birds scratching birds okay perching birds example sparrow birds of prey so many other kite eagles have swimming birds ducks and uh, penguin etc wedding birds the long thin uh, uh, thin long legs to walk in the swallow waters and uh, example crane and stroke scratching birds hens etc okay this type of feet and claws we shall study we have to study this class okay i hope you are understood this one feet and claws next class we shall discussing about remaining parts of the birds what is the special is there how they make nest okay i hope you are understood thank you students